This show is a crawfish-inspired menu. Everything crawfish. You know, it's crawfish season in Louisiana, so I thought this is what we should do tonight, okay? And I'm going to start it off with one of my most popular new appetizers we're doing here at the restaurant. It's called our Cajun Spring Roll, and it just so happens that it features crawfish in it. All right? So what we do, you're going to be surprised how we put this together. And I'm going to show you a few little tips and techniques on how to do it, okay? So we're going to crank up the fire. We're going to get the fire a little hot. There we go. We're going to start off, guys, with a little garlic butter. And what I'm doing right now, guys, is we're going we're gonna, to um, show you how we saute all the ingredients to make the spring roll. Then I'm going to show you a little technique on wrapping one for you, okay? So we're going to get started off. I always like to start off with the vegetables. We got a little onion. And Matt Willingham, you know what onion is, right? We've been through this before. Yeah, that's, that's onion with a little Cajun rubbed all over it. All right, here we go. <laughs> we got a little bit of, of bell pepper. And we got a little celery. And um, if you don't know it, um, in Louisiana, where I come from, people are so religious about their food. The three main ingredients that go in to most things we do is called the Holy Trinity. And that's what I just put in here, bell pepper, celery, and onion. So we're going to get started with that. We're going to start sauteing that down a little bit. And as that sautés down a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of our andouille sausage. Oh, yeah. Some good andouille sausage. And so... First off, what you want to do is you want to sweat down these vegetables, and you want to get that andouille going, get a, little, get a little something going on there. Get that going, okay? Now we're going to add up some diced, wonderful, fresh shrimp from Matt Willingham, Willingham Seafood. Here we go. The only place to get shrimp on the bayou. Yeah, you right. Oh, Matt, how you, how's it smelling over there, Matt? We doing all right over there, baby? All right. Just want to make sure, man, I'm here to entertain you. That's all, baby. All right, here we go. We're cooking that up, and as this is sautéing down, boy, you can smell all the different aromas coming out of there, folks. This is really a wonderful dish. Now, we're going to get this sautéing. Okay, next we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder. A little garlic powder. I didn't know y'all like garlic powder that much. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, and then I do a little sea salt and a little cracked pepper, a little pinch of that. Pinch will do you. Less is more. Like I always say, less is more. All right, then we're going to do a little bit of Cajun seasoning. You can use your Cajun seasoning of choice. I like Tony's, if you want to know, and that's what we're using. Um, also, I got a little bit of our Blackland seasoning, which we mix up here at the restaurant. Put a little bit of that in there also and uh, to give it a little spice. Now I'm going to saute that a little bit till my shrimp are cooked. Okay, now the shrimp are almost cooked here and everything's sauteing down. Okay, then I'm going to add my crawfish. And I always put the crawfish in last because the crawfish tails and meat are already cooked. So you're not going to have to saute it as much. If you saute or cook that too much, it'll disintegrate and break up, and you won't have anything to, um, to be left at the end. Okay? So now we're going to add that here. Okay? And as this boy, doesn't that smell good, guys? Y'all can smell that over there? Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. See, now this is all coming together nicely. And this is basically the ingredients for our Cajun spring roll. And then now, once I've got this to where I want it, like so, a little flip-flip, a little flip-flip. All right, we're going to bring that down a little bit. Um, and then the last thing I add, once I turn down the fire, is I add some fresh boiled or steamed white rice. Okay? Then I add some fresh shredded carrot. I like to put the carrot in last and not saute it because I like that little bit of crunch in my spring roll. Um, it makes a nice little uh, touch to it. Then we're going to mix this up. And what you do is you let all the rice absorb all that seasoning so the flavor goes throughout. Okay? And then if you can see like I'm showing you. Oh, baby. What you think about that? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> all right, guys. So you see now that's all blended nicely together. And so basically... I'm going to go ahead and kill this fire right here, and that's how we make our spring roll. Now, I'm going to give you a tip when you're fooling with spring rolls, and I, um, I'm going to show you how to, how to do it pre pretty, uh, in a very cool way, a little different than what you were thinking. But the main thing is, is after this, this is done, you've got to let it cool, and then you want to drain it. You can either use a cheesecloth or you can put it in a strainer, but you have to get all the liquid out of it because if you don't, when you roll a spring roll, it's going to blow up on you. It's either going to, it's either going to bust or you're going to get a hole in it. It's not going to hold its, its true form, okay? So we have a little bit of our mixture that's already done and ready, and then I'm going to show you how we do it. And um, somebody taught me this technique about spring rolls, but this is basically your basic spring roll. And what I do is I put a little on the edges and on the end, okay? And then here's what we do. Instead of rolling up corners like you would think, the best way to roll up a spring roll is to go like this, okay? And then you want to flip this over 
like so. You see what I'm saying? Like so. And that way when you fry it, there is no opening side. And you roll it straight like so. And it's a little bit difficult to do it. But you roll it straight and you keep them in. And you keep them in. You roll it like so. Okay? And then you put a little bit of egg wash right here. And then you roll it over. And you see how nice and straight and even that is, guys? That looks great, right? And you see, most people, most people would roll it like you do silverware on an angle, flip the corners over and roll it. But if you do that, when you put it in the hot grease, it has a better chance of busting open from the sides. When you roll it like this, there's no opening on either side, and it stays nice, straight, and perfect.